This video is sponsored by Longer. Interested in picking up your own portable laser engraver at a discount? Check out the video description for more details. Enjoy the video. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have something special. I received this brand new laser engraver from Longer, the Nano Pro. Now this is the 12 watt version and it's a portable laser engraver. And we're gonna get a chance to take a look at some of the advantages of this piece of hardware. So stay tuned, we're gonna unbox this, we're gonna assemble it, and we're gonna put it through its paces and see what it can do. So the first thing we can see just from observations is this particular box, uh, well, it's quite Apple-esque, so to speak. It's high quality. It's a really nice uh, put together box. It actually comes in, a, in another box as well. So uh, it's well protected. Um, but let's take a look inside and see, uh, see what it co comes with here. So here's the fun part. All right. So as we can see, it's nicely padded here. Oh yeah. Form fitted, nice. Here, I'm gonna put these on the side here. Well, first thing we got. This is uh, pretty awesome here. This manual uh, looks pretty nice. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, it's not every day that you get a chance to take a look at a, a nice and thick manual. This one, 62 pages, and it is really nicely illustrated. So excellent instructions. Looks like it includes instructions for the uh, other accessories as well. So looking forward to getting into this. It even talks about the software. Uh, again, can't stress how, how valuable this is. Uh, going off personal experience with the uh, Ray 5 uh, 20 watt laser, uh, the manual here is quite nice. This is actually pretty excellent. So looking forward to this. So there's our, our first step here. Well, let's start with this guy here. Uh, this is just kind of looking off the pictures. It looks like it's the, this is kind of like the cover, I think. Not exactly sure. Uh, yeah, it is. Okay. So just kind of an observation. Looks like it's got USB-C power for this fan and it looks like it's magnetic as well. So excellent. All right. Very good. So we got first piece there. Uh, okay. So I'm seeing a bunch of boxes in here and each one of these boxes, I don't know if you can see this or not, but uh, they're nicely labeled here, what's inside them. I'm assuming they correlate very well with the, what's in the manual there. I'll put those guys there. And okay, here we go. Yeah, oh, here we go. This is kind of useful. Uh, we've got our goggles. <laughs> very critical to have this when you're using the machine. Uh, don't recommend using it without those. Uh, protective gear is always important. We've got our toolboxes, power. So very nice. Again, it's always always good. So quite a bit of, of equipment there. This is going to be an interesting build. Um, consumables, awesome. Nice separate box. Good. That makes things easier. Okay. Um, what do we got? That guy here. Okay, so looks like we have something to do with the gantry, I think. Um, well, we'll figure that out. <laughs> we'll put that on. <laughs> Let's see here. I'll put all the hardware on this side here. Uh, what else we got? We got anything over here? No? Okay, we got something over here. Looks like the build plate, I think. Yeah, the base plate. Oh, here we go. It's got some stats and some information on it. Uh, yep, gives you the model number. Very nice. Looks like it's got all these certifications on it too. So pretty cool. All right. So next we have the, looks like it's laser itself. Now, just so far, just an observation, the, the metal enclosures for this is very solid. This is Definitely, um, definitely gives you the, the high quality vibes. Um, seems like you're, you're getting what you're, you're paying for, for your money. But from what I understand with this particular laser, yeah, just kind of, I think it's handheld. I, I, I believe that is one of its features. I could be wrong, 
um, but I think I read somewhere that you can use it in that way. Uh, also notice there's a push button on the top right there and it stays down so it's it's a uh, continues there. I'm not sure what these guys do. And then here we go. Look at that. So USB-C uh, throughout here. Looks like there's a few different options here. I'm seeing, let me see if I can position that just right here. Uh, power. I don't know what that is, like a display. I don't know. It just is a box, some sort of motions, and then a fan, which I think is the the, the red guy there. <laughs> and then Wi-Fi push button. So awesome. Yeah, this is, like I said, this super high quality, nice, really, really, um, yeah, good, good feel. Yeah, really, really nice metal. Gotta love it. Okay, so I think that is everything in this side. Okay, well, we're going, going deeper. All right. Okay, uh, wow. Um, where do we begin here? Okay, so, so we got some more parts. Now, I believe this side of the box, could be mistaken, but this part of the box is um, the pieces for the assembly of the accessories. I, I believe so. It looks like it anyway. So anyway, you got structural pieces. This one's got feet on it. So I'm assuming this goes down. <laughs> Not sure. And there's a ruler, a ruler here. Looks like in centimeters. All right. Another plate. Not sure where that goes. We'll just assume it goes there for now. Okay. And here. All right, so another structural piece. I guess I'll I'll know a little bit more about this when I put it together. But uh, and then there's also these little. It looks like these are clamps. Yeah, spring loaded. Yeah, and I see a few of them in here. I'm just gonna put that one back for now. I don't need to take it out. Yeah, we got one, two, three, and then there's these. I don't know if you can see it or not? But. We got these guys right here. So, yeah, these are these little plastic pieces right here, like little steps, I think. I'm not sure what they are. Okay, I'll just put those back. It looks like we have six of those guys. But uh, yeah, just again, a, a nice um, thought here with regard to the box. Very uh, well put together, well thought out as far as the arrangement of things. I mean, things are form fitted. So they're not sliding around. Um, that's that's a good thing. Okay, so more on to the structural something else here um, that we have. Again, I'm not sure what that is, but we'll, we'll find out. And then this whoa, this is a big one. Okay. Okay, let's do this here. All right. So we got this guy. I believe this is a linear slide. So I believe this moves. Yeah. So, yeah. And then, yeah, and I can see here there's a USB on the side here to power it and probably give it, you know, data and whatnot too. So cool. Uh, very nice. I'm going to put that right there. And okay. So I think, let's see what's safe to take out here. I think. I'll try to take this out. Okay. So another part of the, yeah, there we go. So this is definitely an axis of some kind, an adjustable one that you can do. I don't see any, there's no, it's not electrical or so it's just a manual adjustment. I think this is for the uh, rotary. I want to, want to say, but I have to look at the picture, but yeah, we'll find out when we put it all together here and then yeah, this is awesome. I know what this is. This is the actual uh, axis. This is very similar to like a, a fourth axis on a CNC machine. You've got your, or, you know, a lathe as an example. So um, this is the chuck, three jaw chuck. Very nice. It opens and closes. Yeah, I believe it's adjustable too. Yeah. So there's these numbers here and I believe you can, yeah, you can tilt it. So you'll be able to change the angle and whatnot too. So that's pretty cool. And this, by the way, is really heavy. <laughs> So very, very nice. I, I'm assuming this is all aluminum here. And again, it's that um, you've got USB and then 
maybe a data or I'm not sure what that's for, but anyway, very cool. And yeah, nice, very, very nice. And what else do we got in here? I think, oh, there's this guy. All right, so, um, is there, what is this? Is there just one or, oh, there's, okay, there's two. I think this is like a the bed. I'm, I'm not even sure. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that or not, but take a look at that, yeah. So, and then there's numbers across here, measurements on both sides. So yeah, I'm assuming this is like a, a build platform or not build, you know, that's a 3D printer, but obviously this for engraving, engraving you put your, your um, material on top. And just speaking of material, this particular um, engraver can do, oh geez, a wide variety of materials. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's wood, leather, stone, metals like aluminum and so forth. The plastics, you know, certain types of plastics and so forth. There's a bunch. Um, it's more than what I've just listed there, but uh, yeah. So this is really awesome. I mean, this is going to be pretty cool. I'm very interested to see how it puts, is put together. Obviously, I'm going to follow the manual and try to see if it makes any sense. Um, and then two, just, you know, again, putting it through its paces. I want to try a variety of different projects, even seeing how it's portable and just taking it places and seeing uh, what we can do there. And then also two, it's an engraver, but I also want to test to see if you can cut with it. And then also to testing some of the software and uh, comparing it to the competition in, in that regard too. So anyway, that's, uh, that's going to be it for the unboxing and uh, let's put it together. In our next video, we'll feature the assembly of the Nano Pro. If you enjoyed this content, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks a ton for watching and see and see you later.